if you've got a game here that when you play through it, it's it's kind of more a simulation than a game. It doesn't it doesn't feel very gamey to play. A nice way to make this more interesting is adding like a classic power bar, like in a you know one of those golf swing games. So here's an example where I've made. Uh, I'll just show you. You press go. It just keeps going from one to nine, and you've got to stop it at a certain time. I think you've got to get near five on this one. So there we. Ah, oh, perfect. Nice. Look at that. First go. Pretty good actually. Okay, and you press go again, and there you go. It's a high power is near five. So let's just see how this works. Um, uh, I've made it go try and accept, and that's the accept keyboard interrupt is how I stop the the power bar. Um, then uh, I say, look, do this a bunch of times, nine times, because I don't want to go like uh, this. If I went to twenty, obviously it would, you know, go down all the way there. Um, so you can do that. Might give you more of a chance, but anyway. Um, and then uh, I'm having a little bit of a delay, uh, so it's not in completely insane. That would be the speed of it. Okay, that's pretty. <laughs> but you know, you could change this to D, where this is the difficulty of your game. You know, there's a variable that you could change. Um, and then all I'm doing is I'm incrementing a timer. You know, you could make this look nicer by going plus equals one. You know, if you wanted to make it look fancy, it's the same thing. Um, I'm having a little bit of a, a space there. Did you know you can put emojis into Python? You you can. Just Google Emojipedia. So I'm printing some stuff, the actual timer, whatever it is. This is how I make it stay kind of on the same line. Um, when it's, well, well, this sort of stuff on the same line. Now, I originally had this in, in REPL where it was going across like this. Um and I found that REPL is laggy. It works sometimes depending on where I where I run it. It works great in Thony, all these power bars, because, but because they're dealing with such quick refresh intervals. Um, REPL, because it's online and technically that server is somewhere in another country, it just, it doesn't have like the, the speed for this to work quite correctly. Um, I'm, sure there, I'm sure there's a way around it or a hack, because uh, sometimes it does work. And then I clear the screen by doing this. I just print this. You, in REPL, you can go REPL.clear, bracket, bracket, if you import REPL. And there's another way of doing import OS and doing that. But this seemed to work. I tried a few different methods. And that's it. Then I'm putting like an if statement here and blah, 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 blah. So if you wanted to, for example, um, put this into a, a function where you're going to go um, just to kind of like do the power bar thing or whatever. So I would do something like this. I'd call this uh, def power bar. And I grab all this. I'd put it in here like this. And then I'd return at the end of it. I'd return whatever they do. So um, I, it's the beat timer, right? Isn't it? Yeah. I wasn't sure what this thing was called. So I was trying to... like. I, <laughs> I don't know. Is it? A, I think a power bar is a good, like a hit timer. I don't know. So I need to go return from the function the beat timer. That's the the variable that I really need. Okay. So then anywhere in my game now, I, I can just go x equals. Let's say you know I want to print. If I had two players, I can go x equals power bar, and y equals power bar. But now it'll you know if I, yeah, that's kind of and I can then go like print. Uh, player one got and then I'll just put the power bar function that makes sense it's nice in a function because then you can literally just use this word to call it whenever you want so player one got whatever the power bar is let's play this there you go oh, it's, I'm, it's too hard now <laughs> there you go player one got <laughs> <laughs> zero. Did I get? Oh my god! I got zero. I didn't know I could stop it at zero. It's not even on the scale. There you go. Um, so uh, yeah, that's it. I'll just show you. Like this is this is it in, in REPL. But when I when I run it, you can see that it's a little bit. Oh look, see now it's working fine. It just depends on the on the time of day. The internet. I mean, it's got much nicer emojis, you know. But but some some. Other times it won't work very well. It's the printing on the same line. This endl thing does not. REPL doesn't like it very much. Like um, 
Uh, let's try it. yeah you can see this one here it is it's just it's just not working so if i was to copy this into thani i'll show you how this program here actually works if if i can do typing control c <laughs> it's because i'm trying to peer over a microphone here oh it, maybe it's because it's, it, it's still running select all there thank you right so this was the original one with that emojis and you can see like this is you see the way it's going across because i've got that end end equals this after comma so that's how i originally wanted to do it was like a power bar going going across this way um but that just doesn't seem to work um repl always wants you to go into a new line um i don't know i don't know what that is but look that's that's a deal so um and then it one that works pretty good on repl is pretty foolproof is this more like a slot machine variety um i simplified this just by going a b and c so like it's just going to run and you'll see when it, it's actually so fast that I've ha I've put it in a get ready. So when I press enter, it goes. And then you just hit control C here to stop it. But you can kind of see it lagging out there and slowing down over an internet connection. Control C. Are we, are we doing control C anymore? Is that a thing? Nope. Apparently there's no way to stop this. It's actually so laggy. It can't stop it. Normally you get, there we go. You stopped it at C. Keyboard it dropped. This is what I call like it's like this is like a data traffic jam, where um you're you're saying stop, but there's another hundred, um iterations to go before your stop is queued and eventually processed. So yeah, I stopped it at C is what should happen. Um, that's why a lot of people kind of they add in a bit of a a delay, to stop this kind of backlog, um a build up. Of, of signals but there you go anyway there's there's um a few different ways you can do it as well um in uh, i might do a tutorial later on about how to do this in in pi game with like a, an actual ball that goes back and forth like this you know but it, it's just a lot um i think pi game is probably a separate a separate video but hopefully that's helpful anyway